From the location being an actual ranch in Alberta to the same horse playing Spartan throughout the show, these are some Heartland facts you probably didn't know about. Yes, it really exists. The Heartland barn and ranch house that you're familiar with? They're actually part of a real working cattle ranch located in Millerville, Alberta. Nowadays, the ranch is privately owned and only the Heartland cast and crew have access to it. Unfortunately, it's not possible for fans to visit the actual ranch. But if you happen to be in Millerville, you can check out other filming locations. One popular spot among Heartland fans is the Millerville Anglican Church, where Lou's wedding took place in Season 3. Not too far from the church, you'll find the Millerville Farmer's Market and Racetrack. This is where all the thrilling horse racing and rodeo scenes are filmed. The place welcomes visitors throughout the year, but the best time to visit is typically between mid-June and October, when the farmer's market is in full swing. We even came across an interesting bit of history about the place. Back in 2009, a man named Roy Foster commented on the CBC blog about the show. He said he came to the land with his parents back in 1928. Foster said he was the sole survivor of a family of three boys who were raised on the ranch. He first came there when he was just four years old, and it became their home, as the family raised white-faced Hereford cattle. That big red barn you see on the show was built by his brother Les. Of course, many of the buildings built by his father have since disappeared, but they have plenty of pictures from that time. They left their ranch when World War II broke out, and Roy joined the Royal Canadian Air Force. It's a really sweet story, and could definitely make for a heartwarming episode or two. But if you really want to get into the Heartland lore, head to High River in Alberta. That's where you'll find Maggie's Diner, Tack and Feed. It's right there on 3rd Avenue. In the show, High River is transformed into the fictional town of Hudson, and it's just a short 30-minute drive from Calgary. Now, Maggie's Diner itself isn't functioning, but fans like you can still swing by and take a peek through the windows anytime you want. But if you're craving some real-life diner experience, that feels like Maggie's. There's actually a cool spot called Evelyn's Memory Lane on 4th Avenue. It's a retro diner where you can indulge in delicious Alberta food and soak up the warm hospitality. But wait, there's more! High River has plenty to offer Heartland fans. The Museum of the Highwood is a must-visit because they've got a collection of costumes and props from the show on display. And if you happen to be there during filming season, keep your eyes peeled because you might just catch a glimpse of the crew's trailers behind the museum. Then take a leisurely stroll through downtown High River, and you'll stumble upon several shops that sell awesome Heartland souvenirs. One worth checking out is Olive & Finch, conveniently located right next to Maggie's Diner. And if you're in the mood for some Western wear, walkers. Western wear has got you covered. Oh, and you definitely don't want to miss the red gazebo in George Lane Memorial Park. This gazebo has been the backdrop for some truly iconic scenes in the show, like Amy and Georgie's high school graduation. Isn't it cool that all these places really exist? But did you know that the story's original setting was never meant to be Hudson? Or Canada at all? You know, Heartland actually started as a 26-book novel series written by Lauren Brooke. Those books were all about a ranch set in Virginia, in the United States. But then in 2007, the Canadian CBC network got hold of the rights to turn the books into a TV series. Of course, they made some changes to make it more relatable to Canadian audiences. And one of the major changes was the setting. When the TV series was created, they switched things up a bit. Instead of Virginia, they introduced us to a fictional town called Hudson, located right in the beautiful province of Alberta, Canada. Speaking of which, the show is produced there too. You won't believe it. But the show has not just one, not two, but four primary filming locations. They go all out to bring the show to life. <laughs> There's the real ranch in Millerville. All the outdoor scenes around the barn and ranch house are filmed here. It's the heart and soul of the show giving us that authentic ranch vibe. The Dude Ranch, where all those horsey adventures happen, is a separate set near the Heartland Ranch. Then there's the town of High River. And finally, we have the studio in Calgary. This is where all the interior scenes at the ranch and the vet clinic are brought to life. Think about the ranch house, the barn, the loft, and Scott's clinic. All those cozy and dramatic moments are captured right there in the studio. The production crew goes all out to protect the show's vibe, but not everything is true to the source material. 
there are a few other big differences from the books. One of the big ones is how they portrayed Ty Borden. In the books, he comes to the ranch after school, but in the show, they make him a rebellious teenager. Marion ended up hiring him because they needed the extra help. Some characters from the books didn't make it to the TV series and they added new ones that weren't in the books. Oh, and let's not forget about the horses. They might have the same names, but their stories play out in a different order between the books and the show. Some character names got a little tweak. In the books, Lou is Louise Fleming, but in the show, they call her Samantha Louise Fleming. Just a minor change, but it's there. And you want to know why they make these changes? Well, according to the folks at the Heartland Story Department, they want to make sure they don't step on anyone's toes. They don't want to use names that might cause problems with real people or places. But hey, such changes have to be made when you adapt books for the screen, right? And to deliver that authentic horse ranch vibe, they hired the best in the business, John Scott. He's the head wrangler, you know? The guy who takes care of all the horse scenes. He's like a one-man show when it comes to supplying the show with horses, cattle, tack, and even some of the cool filming locations. This is just one of the many amazing projects he's done. This guy has been in the business for over 50 years, and he's done it all. He's been an actor, producer, wrangler, stunt coordinator, you name it. He was also the head wrangler for The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, where he pulled off mind-blowing scenes with hundreds of horses. He also runs his own company, John Scott Productions and Motion Picture Animals, which has been serving its expertise to countless major film productions for the past 30 years. This guy has worked with almost every animal you can imagine, but his real passion lies in horses, cattle, and buffaloes. When it comes to horses and stunts, Scott is a true master. In fact, he'll proudly tell you that on Heartland, there have been more horses on screen than actors with actual lines. And guess what? His grandson, Jake Scott Church, is even part of the show. He plays the role of Jake, who happens to be Mallory's boyfriend. The horses are definitely one of the best parts of the show. And here's something interesting about Spartan. The same horse has played his character throughout the show. And his real life name is Stormy. He's been Spartan's main equine actor throughout the entire series, starting from age five. Believe it or not, Hartland was Stormy's first ever acting job, and he absolutely rocked it. Just like any professional actor, Stormy has had his fair share of stunt doubles over the years. Sonny and Ziada stepped in for Spartan during Amy's audition for Dark Horse in the season five finale. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Stormy and Amber Marshall, who plays Amy Fleming on Hartland, have a truly special bond in real life. I mean, they've been working together since 2007, and they make an incredible team. It's safe to say that Amber has known Stormy for as long as Amy has known Spartan, and that kind of connection truly shines through on the show. The chemistry between Stormy and Amber is undeniable, and their long-standing partnership adds an extra layer of authenticity to their on-screen relationship. It's no wonder their bond comes alive in their performances on Heartland. They're a fantastic duo that brings so much heart and emotion to the show. From the same horse playing Spartan throughout the show, to the location being an actual ranch in Alberta, these were the heartland facts you probably didn't know about. 